What's up, everybody? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com. I want to show you uh, my latest deal for the T206 Wagner uh, Quest. Let me tell you a little bit about it, first of all. So if you don't know anything about it, um, I am trying to trade my way up from an 87 Tops Jose Canseco Rookie Cup card and a custom all the way up to T206 Honest Wagner. Uh, you can find and track my results and my progress at T206Wagner.com. This is the latest step. So I started on January 1st, and this is what I have right now. So I, uh, I currently have uh, um, a lot of these cards, like all these cards, uh, with one caveat, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second, is uh, from a good friend of mine, Enrique. Uh, Enrique actually has been following along, and he said, Tanner, um, I've got cards I want to get rid of. Um, it's not about the money. I want to be a part of uh, your story for the Tito 6 Wagner. And so he came over a couple days ago and let me just kind of you know, show you like all the top loaders here and card savers and, you know, the long boxes. And, you know, we didn't even talk about a price or whatever. He, he gave me a price and I'll record that later as well uh, for everything. And I, I'm actually taking a part of the proceeds I got from selling the boxes of the case for my last deal to get all of this. And uh, Enrique, I just got to say, is uh, was very generous um so thank you so much enrique we're going to go through uh all of these cards it's going to be a long video and uh it's going to be fun because i don't really know a whole lot of what's in here myself so we're going to be discovering things together as we go through on this video so a few things number one um i am always up for selling this all together um i am up for selling just the baseball just the football just the basketball those are the three main sports in here um, or doing a trade or anything. I'm really up for whatever. So, um, like I said, this is like, this is my jam here, you guys. Like, I love this stuff. This is, uh, you can keep your box breaks and stuff. Like, this is my box break. <laughs> I love doing this stuff here. This is my favorite. Uh, and I love box breaks, but I love going through collections, you guys. Like, I just love it. And I can tell that there's already some, some pretty darn good cards um, in here. I think these are some of the highlights, but I think we'll find some other gems along the way too. So um, with that said, um, and by the way, part of the deal also was um, uh, I'm, I agreed to do a custom centerpiece for Enrique's collection as well. So uh, super happy to do that. I'm excited to see how that comes out. Um, but anyways, with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get started here, I think uh, first of all, we're going to go through these boxes here because they are all sets uh, for the most part. Um, but... Like I said, there's two caveats here. Number one, um, not all of these cards are from your game. These cards right here in my hand um, are cards that were gifted to me by Chris Cody from, um, I believe is the first, uh, the first deal I did to kick off the T206 Wagner um, flip quest. So I wanted to recognize you on this again, Chris. Uh, thank you so much for these. Um, very nice. And there's a lot of really cool, like, let me see if I can put the flash on just to kind of do justice to some of these here. They're, they're beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, they're football and I think some basketball. And I don't really know uh, much about football and basketball. So you guys, as we're going through this, um, I think one of these sold for like 15 or 20 bucks, if I remember correctly. But anyways, uh, uh, I, you know, I'm going to need your help. So y'all, if, if you see something that's like pretty amazing in terms of, football or basketball, please let me know in the comments because I don't really know what I'm looking at <laughs> uh, when it comes to basketball and football. For baseball, same thing goes for, for short prints and SSPs of tops. I know there's a lot of them. So the second caveat, caveat number two, uh, Enrique also uh, did a deal with me for a Babe Ruth. Uh, I had the option of putting the Babe Ruth in the flip quest. Um, I'm not going to right now, um, even though it was part of the deal. He actually said, he's like, oh, you know, I don't know, Tanner. I was really hoping you'd be able to keep it for a while at least, but I understand if you don't want to and you want to, you know, roll this in as well, uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it for now, you know, cause I, I love the card and I'm actually going to be doing a video on it, Lord willing, in the next day or two, uh, to educate you all about, because it's really a fascinating card, you guys. And plus a little bit of history too, is like, uh, um, I remember when Enrique got it and I thought it was really cool that he was able to score Ruth and everything. So, uh, I'm very, very thankful to have not just a Ruth, not just a Ruth in my collection because I haven't had a Ruth in my collection for about a year, but 
his roof in my collection. That's that's a, that's a big deal to me. And, and, you know, down the road, I'm sure it will probably grow into something else in terms of trade or whatever. But for now, you know, I want to keep it, enjoy it. So anyways, uh, going forward, let's uh, let's take a look at the sets here. So the first one uh, is marked 89.90 Floyd Basketball. So for me, you guys, uh, I know a little bit more about basketball in the 80s than I do nowadays. Uh, so this is the only sleeve joint, it's Jordan. So it's a nice, nice condition, Jordan. Um, I did a little bit of looking up on some online uh, of prices uh, for the sets because those are easy to look up. I uh, can't help myself, a young guy going it quickly. Uh, but anyways, I think I think this goes for around 50 bucks or so, um, which was a very nice surprise. Um, I'm not going to remember all of them, all the prices. So uh, like I said, you guys, like you take a look at this video, please make an offer of anything. Uh, Dollar wise, trade wise, whatever for everything you see for, you know, just one sport or whatever. But you know, I'm I'm down for anything. So, this is a 7980 tops basketball set. Um, and you know, again at t206wagner.com, we're going to track progress. We're going to keep records and notes of everything uh, that's been part of the seal currently. Right now, I think I'm at uh, I sold the Soto as well, so I'm think I think I'm at $1,205 cash. Or something like that. Twelve fifty-five off the check later, and all this. So you know, I've been we've been doing really good. This is this is a great start, and a lot of this is because of uh, some you know very very great people that have just uh, been you know super generous and uh, helpful in this. So uh, I won't go through every card, or I don't know, maybe I will. Uh, I like, but anyways, like I said, there's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um, I uh, I. I don't know who else. I know that uh, there's, you know, Dr. J, uh, Julie Serving. Um, so I think those might be the two main guys in here. I, I don't really know. Um, anyways, it's the set. So we'll, we'll just kind of keep it at that and keep it rolling. Um, I know 8081 Tops had the Magic Johnson Larry Bird rookie. Um, this is this is not the, that. This is the year before. Um, so we'll go for, let me see this right here. Uh, okay, so this is... 1984 Fleer baseball. This is more my speed and perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so uh, hopefully, you know, the sets will have the good cards up top for a lot of these. Um, but anyway, so um, let's take a look. So we have the Daryl Strawberry. That's a very nice one. By the way, I'm Facebook friends with him. I've shown him some of my work and he loves it. And uh, I like this guy. I think Strawberry is a stellar guy nowadays. Like I know he had all kinds of problems in the past, but uh, he is great uh, right now. Anyways, Nolan Ryan, gotta love Ryan. Ryan Sandberg, there's the Mattingly. And you guys, like, like I said, this is just, this is so fun for me. It's been a long time since I've held an 84 Fleer Mattingly or an 84 Fleer Boggs or 84 Fleer Gwynn or Ripken. So, uh, I mean, man. Like, I just love it. it. It gives me goosebumps. And I know it's not like these aren't one of ones or whatever, you know, but uh, but man, I love it. I love it so much. So anyways, this is super cool, you guys. Like, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so A4 Fleer set, 79A Tops basketball set, and A990 Fleer basketball set so far. Um, and this is an 81 Tops uh, baseball complete set. So, and again, got some of them at the top here. So there's Harold Baines, that's his rookie. Um, and the corners are real nice. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of a little bit of noise on there, but uh, Fernando Valenzuela, um, I think he was just elected to the Dodgers Hall of Fame, which y'all like long, long, long overdue if that's the case, like <laughs> crazy. But anyway, Tim Raines rookie, or Rock Raines. Um, there's a Kirk Gibson rookie, boo. And uh, because of his 88 World Series uh, uh, heroics, quote unquote, for the Dodgers. But anyways, and there's Ricky Henderson. It's a little off center to the to the right there. So that's a great card. And, you know, it's funny. I think somebody on my YouTube channel um, went to my video, ugly top 50 ugliest baseball cards or whatever it was in, in the reels. And I think somebody said uh, in the comments, this should be nominated. And I'm like, no way. I think this is awesome. <laughs> I think it's an awesome card. I don't think it's ugly at all. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's, man, we're at a great start and like, we've just done the, you know, some of the sets. So anyways, going forward, let's see what this is. Uh, this says 
Well, this says 1981 Upper Deck Baseball, and we are billionaires if it's an 81 Upper Deck Baseball set because there's no such thing. So, um, I think Enrique was telling me... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so this is not a complete set. This is 81 Fleer, and I think, if I remember correctly, yeah, this looks like a checklist. Um, so I think, if I remember correctly, I think there were a lot of uh, uh, ch -ch 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 errors in 81 Fleer. Um, and if that's right, okay, so I did thumb through this a little bit here. I, that's right. Um, let me see if I can kind of show you what I'm, what I'm talking about here. So it looks like whoever did this, uh, Enrique or the guy before him, uh, I think what they're doing was they uh, were trying to put together the, the master set. And there's so many darn errors. And this is the first FLIR set, by the way, you guys. Like, uh, you know, so it's pretty, you know, pretty big deal. Uh, not like value-wise necessarily, though there are some cards that are, that are going to go decently here. But um, let me see if I can show you kind of what I'm, what I'm finding. Because I think this, this boxer is riddled with various errors. Um, and I'll see if I can try to run across one. But, and have some fun while we're going through. Like, look at that Phillies... Pete Rose card. I mean, and look, Larry Boa, Manny Trio, Bob Boone, Mike Schmidt, Steve Carlton. Holy smokes. Um, there's a, okay, so, all right, let's take a look at this. Um, so I see there's two Steve Carlton cards here. Um, let me see if I can figure out if there's an error here. I'm going to pause this and take a look real quick. Hang on. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, I did. Uh, oh, that's funny. I, I had this in front. I didn't notice this one either. Um, so, uh, so looks like looks like there's another issue here. And it's the same error. Okay, so let me show you what I what my research what my two minute research found for me. So, you know, it looks like we've got doubles of these two. You know, Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. With as much as I feel like I've got a black belt in, in 80s baseball cards. I knew nothing about some of these errors here. So let me show you what this is. I might want to do a video later um, on what's a real error and what's a fake error because online, you see my my video about scammers, um, about uh, you know, the scammers, what they do with like these uh, supposed air quotes, you know, um, errors. Uh, I actually did a video on that and it's getting a lot of traffic actually. I'd like to educate everybody out there what a real error is and what a fake error is. So let me show you what, what there is right here. So why are there two of these? You take a look at the back and this is what a legit error looks like. So look at, I don't know if this, if I can catch this on camera or not. Yeah, I think I can. This one right here, apologies for the dog eating in the background. Um, well, first of all, is this the same, is this the same card? Lefty, the Golden Arm, Steve Carlton, Phillies, Phillies. So first of all, I notice the number is different. But also, I notice this. Look at his second career year, 1966. Well, it says 1066. So he either was pitching a thousand years ago or, you know, just, you know, decades ago. Uh, so that's, that's one of them right there. Um, and by the way, awesome mustache right <laughs> love it um okay so these are both numbered six but that says 1966 and this says 1066 so there we go so we have this i'm going to go through a few more of these i'm not going to go through the entire 81 clear set um but what i do want to well man tug mcgraw okay so it's the same one um what i do want to do is i want to find another one or two because i did find some others that were interesting. It's just like, I think Fleer had like this really, really like rough start. And so apparently there are brothers named with the last name of Vukovic that played for the Phillies. Um, I don't know why my dog wants to eat each time I'm trying to get on camera here downstairs, but <laughs> uh, George Brett and there's a Panini fiasco that you've probably seen that they had a, uh, National Treasures or something, they had a Babe Ruth cut signature, but the signature ended up being George Brett's signature. That happened like about a week ago or so, and so Panini finally responded. Um, Willie Wilson, Dan Quisenberry, Amos Otis, Amos Otis. Um, 
I wonder what what's up with this here. Um, let me see if there's if there's anything if there's anything to this. Card number thirty two for both of them. All right, I'm going to pause this one again and just take a look here. Okay, so yeah, these are considered an error too. Apparently, um, completely different picture. Like even the border around it is different. So, and a lot of these cards will go for like apparently like there's between three and ten dollars is what it looks like from what I'm seeing. Just a, a quick view. That's what I'm looking at. So here's another couple like Hal McRae. So again, I'm I'm assuming these are not doubles, but there's actually an error and corrected version. And let me see if I know. If I can pick up right off where the issue is here. Um, Hal McRae. Um, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll hold off on going too long for this one. I'll, I'll at least go to find the one that's, that I want to show you all here. Um, Frank White, Clint Hurdle, John Watham. Because it's kind of, again, it was interesting because you just, <laughs> you, you, you didn't expect, I didn't expect there to be so darn many, hey, look at that Nolan Ryan, uh, errors in the set, but, you know, uh, let's see here, Luis Pujols, and there's, you know, Bruce Bocci, like, you'll see these guys that were have been managers in recent years that are actually players in here, which is really kind of fun. Joe Morgan, Reggie Jackson, Bucky Dent, Bucky frickin' Dent, that's the, you know, G-rated, uh, <laughs> G-rated nickname uh, that Red Sox fans have given him. And again, not gonna go through the entire set, but you know, would like to at least show you one more of what I was looking at. I'm just looking for a double. Uh, Steve Garvey, that's a good picture. Smith, I didn't... Hey, look at that, Dusty Baker. Royce, he's uh, he's really at least was active on Facebook. I'm Facebook friends with him. He's uh, he'll post pictures and stuff. He, he's interacted with people. So uh, Bob Welch, so Bob Welch. Well, it says Robert Welch, but Bob Welch is how I know him. He passed away. A couple years ago, he's an integral piece of the A's dynasty um, from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so you see what they did with the name, Robert Welch, Bob Welch. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just kind of, it's there's a lot of fun things. Like they're probably, you know, beating their head against the wall when they saw all these errors, but like it's, you know, super fun stuff for collectors. So many years later. So runs eight that we've got, uh, yeah, this is the one I was going to show you because I thought this was kind of fun. There's a little bit of like a finger that points right there on that one. And that's the error right there. So I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's apparently a fairly, uh, that's happened, happens throughout the set, and, but they corrected it, you know, so that's kind of a kind of neat thing too. So we'll, we'll end that there. I, I have not gone through all of these, you guys, like, I don't know. Um, there's a number of, uh, variations through here that are probably going to be between three and ten dollars or two and ten dollars each or something um, probably more likely between three and five I don't know but anyways there it is so I you know, didn't think I spent that much time on a1 Fleer but here we are right <laughs> so anyways uh, and then we have 1978 tops this is kind of a big deal for me you guys because like uh, growing up the cutoff for me was 1980. I thought anything before 1980 was ancient. So that was my birth year. So uh, anyway, so and it looks you know cool. So it looks like we got the good ones in top loaders. So there's the Molitor Trammel Rookie, um, which, you know, nice. And it's, it's actually a nice, it looks nicely conditioned. This is the big daddy, Eddie Murray. A little off center, but man, corners are nice and everything. It's a, it's a good looking card. Eddie Murray was a beast, you know. Dale Murphy, um, uh, rookie there, which is great, obviously. And then we've got an early Nolan Ryan, Reggie Jackson, uh, L sweet Lou Whitaker, uh, rookie right there. George Brett with some chaw, another Nolan Ryan, Mike Schmidt, Robin Yount, and Pete Rose. And we will assume that the rest of them are in there for the set. So, I mean, that's a, 
that's a big deal of a set there, you guys. Like, that's a big deal of a set. So, going forward, we have a 1980 Tops baseball set here. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, this is a, like I say, you guys, I mean, Enrique was very generous uh, in his deal. or just very generous. I, okay, so there's a couple cards that are in top loaders. One is Gaylord Perry, and I'm not really sure. Maybe because somebody was just giggling at the name or something. I don't know. <laughs> but then you have, there's the Ricky Henderson. And, man, that looks darn good. That's a nice, that's a nice Ricky. And I love me some Ricky. I actually did a custom job of him uh, uh, today. And I, I posted online. So, anyways, there's the Ricky Henderson. And my goodness, that is not half bad. That is a great card. This is, this, Ricky Henderson is, is tremendously, significantly underrated. So, this card, in my opinion, is undervalued. And, you know, since COVID, I think it's, it's, enjoyed a nice bump but rightfully so i mean just a phenomenal player so anyway um so the last set that we have this this has more meaning to me um as i'm sure it does enrique um this is a 2012 gypsy queen um it's all the base all the inserts and all the short prints and so let's open this up and we'll kind of show you a few of the cards here everything sleeved and so the reason why this means a lot to me is because i remember when enrique was hmm, i didn't put my wedding ring on uh, i was, took a shower before this so anyways huh. all right i guess that's in the bathroom anyway uh so when me and enrique first met i think around then like probably about had it been maybe a decade ago like maybe when these first came out or something and enrique you know gosh i mean correct me if i'm wrong but uh, I believe that you were just in love with these cards and you know, it's easy to see why. I mean, they're a great design. I mean, look at the, even the filtering, the filter they put on the pictures is just phenomenal. Just great stuff. It's one of my favorite type of filters. Um, and uh, anyway, so Enrique was putting together the set and the one that he was looking for was the U Darvish, I think. That was the short print and it was a big money card. I think it still is. I think it's like $150. I think one of them sold for that or something. Um, I looked it up briefly uh, earlier today or last night. Um, and so anyway, so base inserts, uh, short prints. So there could be a video just of admiring the set, like Jackie Robinson. I think there's like Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle and, you know, and, and Mike Trout and, you know, Griffey and, and all that. There's just a lot of, you remember Brian Wilson? Like we, we have good memories. Of Brian Wilson is run with the Giants and the you know, early 2010s and stuff. And so, anyways, I'll, I'll show you kind of a few of the the inserts as well. Moonshots, like, I, gosh, you know, poo, poo holes, like, there's Ruth. And I just said, uh, these bring a lot of good memories to me even, like just from collecting back then as well. And then you have Hallmark Heroes. You have Koufax, Frank Robinson, Garrick, Jackie, uh, Gibson, Ryan, Ripken, Banks, Mays, Bench, Mantle, Musial, Cobb, DiMaggio, Clemente. Are you uh, are you guys impressed? I didn't look at any name there. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so you have like a lot of great, great, and there's a Future Stars uh, set, you know, and, and like there's just so many, so many good cards in here. And uh, and I like the, look at the Griffey. I mean, that's kind of a fun one. And then you have Jeter, which, you know, we'll throw that card away because that's uh Notable game against the, the A's, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, I mean, just just an incredible set. And so uh, also here's here's in the back. I think these might be the SP variations, maybe. Uh, Bench, Cobb, and then Longoria, DiMaggio, Gehrig, Lincecum, Boggs. I mean, even the Boggs Griffey. Just like I said, look at the photography, the filter they put on them. Works of art through and through. I mean, these are worthy of the penny sleeves that they're all in um and uh you know so i remember like it was a big deal when enrique got the uh the darvish uh i think it was darvish let me see and i have it over here um so check this out you guys there it is it's a it's a big deal of a card um like i said i think i saw one sell last for 150 bucks or something i think that's what it was but 
Um, anyway, so there it is. This is this is the set of 2012 Gypsy Queen. So we will dive in now uh, to uh, the, let's see, let's dive into this box here that doesn't have as many holders. Um, and we'll save the holder box for last. Um, so let's put this in. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna remind you guys one more time, if you would, pretty please, if you see some cool cards or basketball or football that I'm not calling out or something, let me know in the comments because I just don't know what I'm really looking at for the most part. Um, and uh, you know, same thing with baseball for SPs and SSPs and like you know the newer Tops products. But anyway, so there's the uh, there's the Darvish again. Um, I'll go through the the cards that are on top here. So here's a '62 Tops mantle. Um, you know, it's uh, it's in worn condition for sure. Um, I know that's not a technical grade, but we'll we'll go with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, real. It's, it's always great to have a '60 uh, '62 mantle, right? So apparently somebody wanted 200 bucks for it or something, and then. This is in a, a $3 top loader uh, that's been used before or something, I don't know. But anyways, so uh, neither price is, is close to accurate, I guess. <laughs> There's a 89 Tops traded PSA 9, uh, King Griffey Jr. I have a great um, uh, story on this. Also, when I was a teenager, I was not into baseball cards much at the time. And I saw a bunch of 89 Tops traded and 89 Score traded. Um, I feel kind of guilty about this now. I didn't really think anything about it before. but uh, uh, the gas station was selling these uh, these little traded sets, and they were selling them by the card. And I was like, okay. So I took all the you know all the Griffies and Ryan's and Albert Bell's at the time, or whatever, and, and bought them. I was like, yeah, how cool, you know. And uh, but yeah, it's, it's really kind of a it's a really nice card. It's a really really striking card. So up here also we have a 1939 Playball Mural Hogue PSA seven. Um, I mean, you know, this looks like a 48 Bowman, but like it predates Bowman by 10 years or nine years. Uh, and apparently at the time it was 40 bucks. I think it probably goes for a little more now. Uh, but, uh, you know, great grade, uh, you know, 1939 play ball. I mean, just that's, uh, you know, that's my jam right there. I love that. And then we have Mr. Barry Bonds, BCCG 10 mint and, uh, you know, Looking up close, it looks real nice. Um, I mean, this is this is jaggedy here, but yeah, not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna hate on on uh, this bond at all because this is a this is a very nice one. So, anyways, okay, so there's a lot of these cards. I expect it to just be base and filler. Um, so we will try to go through it quickly. Um, and so again, if you see anything. Let me know in the comments. Let me see what year this is, by the way, because I'll, they'll be helpful to me. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can see closer in the camera because that's killer on my eyes. Does that say 2019? I think it's 2019. So, Pujols, Don Larson, huh? I think he uh, threw like two perfect games or something the same season. Goose Gossage, Yachty. Um, I think Don Larson, I think he threw a perfect game in the World Series or something. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Kutch, he's, he's uh, signed a one-year deal with the Pirates, so he's back where he should be. There's a Tatis. Um, so I don't know if that's, a, if that's a, you know, big deal of a card, but, you know, I'll take a look. Actually going to, there's a Trouty. Um, I'm going to take a look at that real quick and see. Yeah, this goes to show you how much I need your help in telling me what's what here because... This apparently is not Topps Heritage. This is Topps Archives. <laughs> it feels like uh, Topps Heritage cards to me, just the card stock and everything. But anyway, so um, yeah, the Tatis and the uh, the Trout. There, you know, I think that's like a, a ten dollar less card, and this is you know a few bucks, so not really that big of a deal. But still, like super nice to see those cards. Like that's uh, you know when you're going through cards like this, you expect it to be uh, common. So. So there's Randy Johnson. I wonder, I do wonder if there's uh, short prints or super short prints there. Oh, that's a nice picture of A-Rod. That's great right there. Uh, Cole Tucker, Bench, Wilhelm, Bob Gibson. I am a massive fan. Oh, there's Cunha. Um, I'm a massive fan. Oh, there's Otani. All right. Um, yeah, I guess it's not his rookie there because I think it's 2018, but... I'll pull that off to the side there just to see. But 
Anyways, I'm a big fan of them doing uh, the old timer guys, Mel Ott, uh, next to like Scooter Jen. I don't even know who that is. So <laughs> I know Goldschmidt is, and Matt Olson. Yeah, I know some of these guys, but Lou, Bordu uh, Lou Boudreau, I know him, um, Bernie Williams. And they also mixed them up with like, you know, he's not really old time, but he's retired, but he was a great player. And he played when I was, uh, when I was growing up. And you know, this guy was decades before me. Um, Catfish Hunter, Andy Pettit. I mean, this is a great mix. Um, this is a great, great mix of, uh, of players. And you know what? I would never have had the, oh, there you go. And Soto, um, I would never have had the opportunity to see these cards, Kofax, Longoria, um, without picking up a collection like this because I just don't open boxes. There's a Griffey. Nolan Ryan, wow. I love how that looks. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that up the side also just to kind of admire it a little later. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm, uh, there's Ty Cobb. You know, I'm a big Ty Cobb fan. He's uh, one of the most ripped on guys that said uh, that he shouldn't have been ripped on, you know, in history of baseball. And it's all coming out in the last few years. So anyways, uh, Carter Kaboom. Uh, don't remember if he's something or not, but there's Deion Sanders, Neon Dion. It's the guy who, who uh, punched uh, Jose Bautista. Matsui. Frank Thomas, that's a great picture of Thomas. Great guy too, by the way. Um, and he also almost got in a wreck with uh, Kinseko Street Racing. Um, they're in the same car. Kinseko was driving. Ichiro, K-Line, Bags. Ashburn, Ooh, Pudge, that's a nice Pudge picture too. They did a great job. So I guess the photography, the good photography that has been done uh, by Tops is not limited just to Stadium Club. Um, stadium Club's probably, probably my favorite in terms of photography, but they got some great stuff going on. There's Jeet, Scherzer, Rizzo, Almar. We got a lot more to go, you guys, so I'm going to try to Pick up the pace here a little bit. Oh, there's Vlad. Um, I don't know if he's a big deal anymore or not as far as rookies go, but right, check that out. Um, see what that is, what that's about later on. There's Biggio, there's Craig's Craig's kiddo. Verlander, Reggie. Man, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this. I haven't gone, gone through the sleeve stuff. <laughs> so this is, this is this is fun. Thanks guys for like following along and watching this stuff. I mean, not just like the whole T206Wagner.com flip quest I have going on, but going through cards like this with me. Like this is fun. It's fun being able to talk through things and knowing that somebody out there is watching and listening instead of me talking like a crazy person by myself. Um, so Gary Carter, I moved a massive collection of his uh this past year and it was a blast and i've become a big gary carter fan because of it so jackie robinson great card cepeda luis severino granky uh, as a d-back huh interesting incarnacion menez ryan sandberg springer feller it's so weird justin also on braves thurman munson i actually uh mentioned him in the podcast uh few weeks ago he's got an amazingly interesting story like really wacky kind of thing um definitely check him out Thurman Munson if you don't know about him um Bellinger guy always looks high like that Rizzuto Neuhauser Hosmer okay Baez Yelich Somebody said that they, uh, there's Harper. Um, somebody said like the all time ugliest set for them is like 75 tops. This is, that's what this is based off of. And I don't understand. I think that's like the greatest 70 set. Um, I think the colors are phenomenal. Okay. So I guess this is a, this is an archives product. I think, let me see if I can read this. Looks like 2019 also. So I guess, I guess it's archives. I don't know. Anyway, so it starts off with Ruth, which, you know, Phenomenal. Uh, this is and the the set that this is based off of is 1993 tops, by the way. Um, so that's a 
That's a cool picture there of Robin Roberts. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Trish Speaker, definitely a Hall of Famer and amazing picture again. Ernie Banks, I mean, my gosh. Justice Sheffield. And that's where I fall short, y'all, is like the, oh gosh, yes. Yeah. Nice, Ricky. Um, is the rookies, you know? I mean, I know. I know some of the newer guys, I just don't know who like the super new, super hot guys are in this. So Ralph Kiner, so I can, you know, I, I can fawn over, you know, Dizzy Deans and Monty Irvins all day long and Hornsby's and uh, somebody is fun little story about Rogers Hornsby. He said, and this guy was a beast. Like he was a punk apparently, but he was a beast. Like he even said, he's like, uh, somebody asked me what I do in the off season. And he said, I'll tell you what I do is I, I sit, and I look out the window until uh, until baseball season's here or something, <laughs> or something like that. Um, so he was he is definitely a baseballer. Um, anyway, so there's Clemente, uh, Eddie Matthews. Ooh, Honest Wagner. Hey, if it were a T206, uh, Honest Wagner, we'd be done with this whole thing, right? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. The Mattingly, I mean, yeah, I just, I love these pictures that they're using. Love these pictures. Ozzy Smith, they should do a backflip one of him. I'm sure they have. Uh, Sosa is a member of the White Sox there. Garcia Parra, Clemens. Ooh, that's a great picture. Jose Ramirez. All right. There's not a whole lot that's like not sleeved, by the way. So like you have this here and then this here and this here. So we're about done with the not sleeve stuff. Um, you know, it's Aaron Judge. So we all know Judge. Um, Aaron Otto. There's, there's Trouty. That's a great card. That's a great looking card. Jeter, Cabrera, Soto, Ichiro, Otani, uh, Rivera. I mean, man, that's... Uh, and then you go off of the ninth three. There's Pete Alonso, uh, rookie. I don't really know if that's you know any anything worthwhile, but you know we'll pull off to the side. Uh, there's a Jeter, future star, Sw uh, Soto, future star. It's pretty good. There's a. I'll pull that. I don't, let's see what year this is because I think Soto was a rookie in 2018. That's the 2019. So, anyways, Alonso, Acuna. Yeah, I think 2018 was a big deal for. For some of those, uh, some of those rookies. So there's a, there's an Ichiro, and this is like a archive 2018 or something. So it looks like they did a set for Ichiro, which I'm not hating that. He's an amazing player. There's Hawk. You got Dustin if you're out there watching it. There you go. Steve Rogers. Oh, Captain America. <laughs> Mike Trout. So I think I do remember. My eyes brushing against these though, because like uh, I remember seeing they look like kind of like a magazine. They're just really cool. Uh, there's Griffey, like man, look at those two. Acuna, Soto, there's Harper, Judge, Alonzo again, Judge, Soto, Harper, Acuna. Ariel. Don't want to build too big of a pile over here because they're probably going to crash on me. But anyways, uh, so we've got a mini Bryce Harper, so Sean Deinst, uh, Bauer, Taylor's Rainey Johnson, Ted Williams. We go a little faster here. I think some of these we've seen before already. And get into, ooh, I like that Garrick. Wow. Oh, man. So I am just flat out in love with that picture. I think that's awesome. Yeah, Poppy. It's, it's good. Classic pick of him. And another Poppy. Battingly. Cubby, Kiner. Speaker again. So I think we're going through some of the some doubles, but I see there's some like old stuff back here. So I'm going to 
get some uh, nostalgia going on pretty soon. Okay, so we've we've hit or added the new stuff, and we are going through some of the some of the older things like from my childhood. So there's Barry Bonds, another Bonds, Piazza, Ventura Tome, Clemens. Okay, so there's a there's an error in 89 score, this 89 score. Um, there's an error of Clemens. I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, yeah, so this is the error card. So for 89 score, you look and the win column it shows 778. That means that he would have had more wins than uh, Cy Young. <laughs> so uh, that's the error card of, of Roger Clemens. That's probably that, why that's in here. So Ruben Sierra, Joe Story, Larry Walker, rookie, Mike Schmidt. I love the Toys R Us cards, guys. Like, I love those. There's a Levy King. Bags, move on. Again, just a yeah, great picture. Great photography right there of Thomas and Griffey from 93 Tops. Gonzo, Frank Thomas, Albert Bell. Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. Then we have, this is cool. I like this. This is 91 Fleer Update, Jeff Bagwell rookie, I think. Yeah. Fleer Update. So um, that's a good card. I like that. I like that. So now we have some older cards. There's a Bernard King, um, 79, 80 tops. And then you have 81 tops. There's Raleigh Fingers. There's two of them. I don't know if it's because there's an error or not, but you know, there's two of them anyways. And then a couple of newer football footballers. <laughs> as it were. Um, I think this is a mm, let's pull it out and show you because I actually did see this. I don't think it was anything crazy, but just you know, we're here. We're having fun. We're watching. We're looking through these cards together. So you have these here. Um, and you know the fun thing about these, I remember Edge their thing was they couldn't really be bent and they're waterproof. You know, you could put them under the water faucet and they wouldn't get damaged or whatever. So um, I don't think there's really anything big in that, in that set. So we will tuck this away and go onward and forward. So wondering how I'm doing with uh, short prints and stuff now uh, so far because we've gone through a good amount of cards. Um, I'm curious, very curious. There's a few that I'm just going to kind of look up later, I guess. Just pull that, pull this off the side there. Okay, so this is a cube of cards. At the top, at the very least, there's basketball. Oh, okay, so I see there's some baseball too, so we'll take a look. Uh, so this is 95, 96 Flare hard, Hardwood. Blaylock, Wilkins, Morning, there's Jordan, so we know. Michael Jordan's a big deal, so there is. That's a real nice card. Um, let's see if there's anything else. It almost looks like, you guys, that this is the set. I would not be surprised if this is the set here. Let's see. 27, 26, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So there's, well, from, it looks like, uh, it's all in order except for 17 to 25. So I don't know why there's only just these, but unless they're somewhere else, but any of it. So baseball, uh, 85 tops, Reggie Jackson, Wade Boggs, there's Chris Mullen, uh, Chris Mullen, rather, a um, couple Diamond Kings. It's real nice. Red frame, Hack Wilson. Not numbered, but nice, wild, crazy mix of stuff. Like I see an 88 tops card in the back. There's 90 Bowman uh, Griffey. We got some more basketball. Shaq, that was my guy when I was growing up. Dice, Rashid Wallace, I think those are rookies. Frank Hill, Morning, Shaq, Morning Rookie, Sean Elliott, Cassell. See, I know a lot of these uh, guys. There's a, there's a Jordan, I think, there. Um, yeah, my forward. Probably uh, pull that out just to maybe look at that a little later. There's a uh, a Chrome Frank Thomas, Will Marshall, Spruill, Shaq, Shaq, Michael Jordan. 
metal. I feel like this is actually maybe a decent card. I think the metal base cards of Jordan were, were doing well. I'll, I'll look that up later um, as well. But Beam Team, that's cool. It's got a little laser cut there. Flare Griffey, beautiful card. Pete Rose, Seau, Solar Horizon, Elway, is that Favre? Yeah, it's Favre. Um, there's a couple of Brett Favres in there. That's a, that's a nice card. Did I miss one? No. Elway, um, Clemens, another Clemens. Ooh, that's a cool McGuire. I like that. Cardable, Ryan, 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 Joe Morgan, Joe Morgan. Hey, there's Greg Jeffries. I feel like he had like a re rookie in 88 as well as a I think. But anyways, there's a John Smoltz rookie. There's Griffey, Sandberg, Hershiser rookie. I really like Hershiser. I don't like what he did to the A's in 88, but um, there's Gwen, there's a Chef rookie, Walker rookie. Clemens had an A6 Tops had an error also, like a blue stripe or something. Um, this sadly is not it, but um, just uh, you know, keep an eye out, you guys. Like if you ever see an A6 Tops Clemens with a blue stripe, it's a legit error. So, anyways, there's uh, there's uh, Mark McGuire's Tome. Um, but again, don't really know too terribly much about football. Um, I know, I think that's Drew Bledsoe, and he's probably not really that big of a deal. Um, you know, this is Biggio Rookie. Mark Grace, I always like that card. I think that's a great card. Another McGuire. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson Toys R Us Rookie. I really like that. I think that's a great card. That's a great, great card. There's another Clemens 86 tops. And we have a 65 tops, Dave Johnson rookie actually. Um, that's cool. Amongst the, the 80s and 90s cards. Jose Cruz, 79 tops, hometown hero there. Jose Salu, Joe Morgan, Nolan Ryan. Well, that was a, that was a fun little, little cube of cards there. Let me try to put these back here, and then we've got another cube over there too. Look through those, see if there's any gold. And then onward and forward. See, we're running at 44 minutes now, so my battery's doing well, but we'll 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 go as far as we can here. I'll I'll try to maybe I'll try to pick up the pace here because we, we still have like the good stuff to go through, the, the top loader cards right so okay let's see what we have master and apprentice it looks like Olimar and Bichette maybe Joe Burrow there's a game use card it's the first game use card I think right if I'm remembering correctly um, again I'll just uh, I'll go through these and if you see something that's cool let me know in the comments um, and as I'm going through these football cards, I don't have anything to say about. I'll remind you to check out t206wagner.com. Um, and that's where I am updating my progress on my quest for the T206 Honest Wagner. Um, and uh, things are going very well so far. Uh, so, far. so uh, and this will be updated there as well. I'll probably have a link to the video on there also, that way people can just fully see where we're at. There's a nice little mini, the McGuire. The Bryce Harper. Part of me thinks they've, you know, overdone, or they overdid the, uh, the retro kind of deal, but I don't know. I still love them. <laughs> yeah, how can you not love these? How can you not love these? Ooh, look at that. That's a great Frank Thomas. I, I loathed the Topps big cards back in the day because they're too big. You can put them in anything, just like A9 Bowman. Um, you know, so it's, it's nice to be able to see them in regular size. Ryan Sandberg.
Freddie Freeman. Satchel Page. That's a great one. Wow, how cool. That's neat. And then Randy Johnson. They should have stuck a bird in there because you remember the one game. I don't know if y'all remember this or not, but Randy Johnson was like six foot ten or something crazy and just super intimidating guy. Got a number of stories on, but this one, so he's pitching and as he's pitching, a bird is flying right by and all you see is just like in real time, you're like, what happened? Because all you see is just like a bunch of feathers. Like it looked like the baseball exploded into feathers and I come to find out he hit a bird that was flying at the wrong time. So, <laughs> so kind of a wild deal, but sorry for, sorry for, uh, uh, shaking the camera there, you guys, but anyway, so, uh, okay. So this is all, I don't even know what I'm looking through here again. I just, uh, uh JJ Watt Cardinals boo. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll try to, if I see something shiny, I guess I'll, I'll stop or whatever, but yeah, you know, just eh, football. I mean, you know, football base uh, doesn't really, you know, most football anything doesn't really do anything for me, but you know, I just don't know what I'm looking at here. There's, there's no warm fuzzies I have going through these because I just don't have any connection whatsoever. There's a lot of rookies. Is Josh Allen? I think he was a, um, is this a rookie? I guess it's not a rookie. Um, well, it says College Wyoming. Um, you know, uh, tell you what, let me look this up real quick. Yeah, nothing. It was like a dollar and one cent or something. It was the last sale. Uh, so, anyways, we'll uh, we'll just kind of bypass those for the most part. Um, okay, here we go. Again, just, you know. Okay, so those, the sleeveless ones are now gone. And now, uh, so these are top loaded. So I think I, I should probably roll through them a little slower. Uh, ooh, that's a cool one. Just so that way you guys can see what there is. So, hey, it's an Invisifractor. Look at that. Um, Modder shot, I knew who that is. So I guess I know uh, some of the well, guys. There's Lyle Alzado, and then Dusty Baker, 76 tops. Lyle Alzado again, and um, so looks like there's a good amount of uh, vintage football, I suppose. As I say that, it goes back to some of the newer stuff here. <laughs> so anyway. Trevor Lawrence, rookie flux, I guess. Lyle Zato, Art Shell, Ken Anderson. You hear me get more quiet on the football stuff here. There's some more baseball. Harold Baines rookie. Jamad Rashad again. Mac Jones. I've heard of him before. Another Mac Jones. Pistol Pete Maravich. What year is that? So 7980 and it's got a ten dollar thing on the back of it, so I don't really know what that means. Um, but anyways, Jack Tatum, Gene Upshaw, yeah, I wish I knew more about football, but you know, just not my not my jam. Jack Jones again. 
Another Harold Baines rookie. Jordan Love. Okay. Vita Blue. Another Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker. So 75 tops card. 76 tops. So this is a Vita Blue. So looks like there's a. Uh, I think it'd be safe to say that there's some uh, semi star or my star vintage things in here as well. Um, there's a good amount of vintage here. But then, like we have Pistol Pete Maravich, I wouldn't call him like a semi star, call him a legit star. I, I would think anyway. Bill Buckner. Okay, now these are sleeved. And we have, let's see, a lot of mid 70s to early 80s tops. Nothing too crazy here. This, uh, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these look like the commons also. So there's a 67 tops and let's see here. There's another run of 67 tops. That's pretty cool. Gil Hodges, uh, Richie Allen. Okay. Bad. Hey, look at that. That's pretty great. That's a great picture right there. Ken Brett. I think that's George Brett's brother. And looks like we got some more 70s baseball. I'm just kind of go through these quickly here until I see something, or unless I see something that's interesting. Some father son cards. And some football. I think this is what year? 78, maybe? 78 tops, and then, mm, is that 77? Yeah, 77 tops football. So, you know, we got some 70s. So we got a lot of, a good amount of vintage baseball, football, and basketball. Holy smokes, look at this hair. Like, got some great hair and mustaches in here. That's awesome. <laughs> and checklists. And so just to kind of give you a roadmap of where we are. So we've, we've got this pile to go through this and then we've got another box over here i'm going to try to show you real quick that's all the top loaded stuff um so we've got a lot of potentially really cool cards to go through um so let's uh, let's go through the rest of these here our football uh, for fly 11 exception Okay, so we're done with that row there. Um, so there's a bunch of it of the stuff here that's not uh, sleeved. So that's kind of interesting. So we'll see, we'll see what's there. Um, let's take a look at what's not sleeved first. Then we'll probably blow through the sleeved things as well if they're like if all this stuff is similar to what we saw right here. Yeah, I'm not really too interested in. Spend too much time on it. Same with this. Like, I don't really, I don't know what I'm looking at, looking for or anything. Um, so, we'll just kind of go through those. Jack Clark, <laughs> Nolan Ryan, Robin Ventura, Bo Jackson. I want to make sure, like, this is. Seems like it might be doing something with the camera. Oh, well. anyway. Mitch Clemens. Jared Richard, Joe Negro. 
Griffey, Sammy Sosa rookie, Deion Sanders rookie, Ripken, Ricky Henderson, Mike Greenwell, love. It's probably my favorite like clear box set, I think. Um, okay, Puckett, Yount. Let's see if there's anything that's like noteworthy here. There's a couple Griffies. Bo Jackson, um, Pedro Martinez, but that's not the Pedro Martinez we know. Um, Nolan Ryan, Mike Messina, rookie, Frank Thomas, Griffey, that's nice. Oh, that's a cool one. Clear insert, it's, it's like it's, it's almost like it's wood. McGuire insert, that's a nice one too. Maddox, Thomas, Mavon, uh, Barry Bonds, Mike Piazza. Oh yeah, that's a nice little, nice little cool run of inserts there. That's pretty slick. Okay, so now, Backward hat action there. Let's see. Looks like a lot of this stuff's gonna be common, so we'll just blow through that. Otherwise, it's gonna take me hours and hours. You know, um, there's Manny Ramirez rookie, Sammy Sosa rookie, John Smoltz rookie. So there are a few, a few decent cards there. Then you see Rock Reigns. We uh, I referenced that when we went to his uh, saw his rookie card. There's a bunch of Nolan Ryan's, and then Griffey, Ripken, 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 Ripken. Frank Thomas is a kid. <laughs> Make sure I get this up on camera here for you. Dave Justice rookie. Bunch of other Nolan Ryans. I've never seen that McGuire before. Rookie advertising card collection, I guess. I think I did something like that for Kiseko also. Speaking, uh, there's my man. My main man. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice Griffey. It's a very cool Griffey. Okay, so we went through all the sleeveless cards. Now we have sleeved cards to go through. And I'm, I'm gonna try to go through a little faster on these here. So I wanna, I don't know about you guys, like I'm getting antsy for the, for the top loaded stuff. Uh, but anyway, so we'll, we'll just kinda see what's here. Well, he got Walter Johnson, like 79 tops card. And a couple 75s. This will be a mystery, a fun little mystery for whoever wants to pick these up down the road. It's all vintage stuff, it looks like. We've got a you know late 70s, early 80s, just a plethora. Baseball, football, and basketball. There's uh, some 78 tops baseball. I know that stuff. And Rod Crew, Dave Parker, I mean. So yeah, con so so I would expect common semi stars and minor stars in here. Um, that's what I would expect. Um, so and for that reason, I don't think we need to continue. So uh, I'll, I'll thumb through these here real quick. There's a lot of seventy six tops. A lot of seventy six tops looks like um, for baseball. Seventy five tops. Yeah. And there's a couple top load pieces back here too. So there's football. So there's those. Okay. So we'll call this we'll call this box done. Um, and there's not, I mean, you guys like there's nothing, you know, I, I'm not gonna 
sneeze at vintage commons really i mean there's still <laughs> there's still cool cards but uh you know i'm looking for something where there's like a possibility of us like looking and finding something that's like cool you know like it's really cool in fact i would actually like to yeah if i could find that griffy again i'd like to pull that out because that was a real nice one but oh well well uh you know, i'll look at look for it later or something but anyways um let me put these back and then we're going to switch the boxes out and i can actually pause so you're not having to wait on me okay so here's the fun uh top loaded card saver you know box or whatever so we're going to start off with a few at the top one was a 1961 tops carl yastrzemski um great card i think he has a 60 tops rookie also it says 61 rookie but um i think it's true rookie 60 tops but this is still a really good card i think it's uh I don't remember what it was. I think it was like fifty or sixty dollars for this. Um, this card uh, is uh, is actually a pretty darn big deal, and I'm uh, you know I didn't know anything about it really. I, I do remember stumbling on it, and I go, "Wow, that's so cool!" Um, this is a big deal card. I think this might be one of the bigger cards in the entire run. Um, I think this might be uh nowadays maybe 150 bucks or something i think 200 100 i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it, what exactly it was i can't remember but it, but it was a it was a pretty big deal of a card so anyways there's that and then we have a uh psa 9 1989 lions police barry sanders uh rookie so uh oscar meyer um so very cool very cool card um so we will we will dive in and see what there is. There's a couple start off. There's some 94 finest refractors and Jeter, um, Blair 95 hot prospects, ultra reflections, Jeter. Uh, and then we have, uh, okay. It looks like we got a run of Jeter rookies here as well. Yeah. Not hating that, <laughs> you know, not hating that at all. Second year, Gwen, Milt Pappas, uh, 64 tops. A couple rookie Don Mattingly's. That's pretty great. Ooh, that's a nice Jeter die cut insert. Mickey Mantle, uh, 2004 SPX. It says $12 on there. I wonder if that's like an SP or something. Ooh, that's pretty. Turkey Red Refractor. That's cool. Okay. Babe Ruth. Looks like it's a 1970. That's pretty slick. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Well, we're off to a great start. Okay. We, oh my gosh. Let me turn on the flash on and see if you can get this in its full beauty. Wow. That's nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Right. And then we have a Jeter uh, power deck, I guess it is. Joe Necro, that's actually a really sharp looking card. George Foster, Saab, Lopez. You got, that's a nice A4 Donners, Nolan Ryan. Another Invisifractor. Gold Nolan Ryan. That's a great Mickey Mantle. It's a great Griffey. I'm gonna put on the, the flash for you guys to see this also. I don't think these are necessarily wildly expensive but they're wildly beautiful wildly beautiful wow cool stuff I'll save my battery um i really don't know how much time i have left on this battery here frank thomas rookie roger clemens uh so it looks like some of these are have been priced from like the 80s or 90s um yellowing even you can tell but don drysdale what is this a TCMA card. Um, then we've got the Ryan Sandberg, Lee Smith rookie. Like, well, oh, there's Maddox rookie. Cool. You know, I'm already just liking this box a lot more than the other one. I'm glad we saved the best for last year. Chipper, McGuire rookie, some 60s. Oof. Yowza. Yes. Old school hard cases, cards, Frank Thomas, 
Jeff Bagwell rookie. Ah, there you go. I think some of these, uh, I think some of these, Enrique, I know some of these used to be in my cards because this is a super rare McGuire card uh, that wouldn't be in this collection. So Enrique definitely got some cards from me in here. Uh, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a cool card. Uh, there's Griffey rookie, speaking of cool cards. Don't know what that is. That's pretty slick. Custom card material, maybe? Okay. Everybody needs a Bob Dean autograph. I don't, no idea who that is. <laughs> 73 Cedar Rapids. Okay. Another Griffey rookie. Post. Oh, man. So many memories of that card. Another Griffey rookie. Ken Stabler, Pastorini. Here are others. Chipper rookie, Chipper rookie. Randy Johnson rookie. Frank Thomas rookie. Craig Biggio rookie. Griffey rookie. Yeah, Griffey rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Here's another. Here's oversized uh, um, Barry Larkin rookie. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. This is a good box. The other one is good too, but like this is good. Chip Jones. Ah, yep. I had this in my collection too. It's uh, No Rounded Corners. Mother's Cookies card. Mm, there's uh, another A's Magazine card there. Another one. Oh, please, 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 please be what I think these are. Please. Yes, 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 yes. These are from the print coat sheet that I got a while ago. <laughs> yes, <laughs> these are these are very rare. Um, and uh, yeah, like I think I've been the only one that's uh, that sold them in the past. But yeah, they're blank backs. There's nothing really different about them versus like the production run cards of these. Uh, but uh, the sheet itself said like print coat test sample or something. Uh, so maybe the front of it had a different sheen or something. I don't know, but. Heck yes. Okay. Very, very, very happy to have these back. Super cool. Super cool. Okay. Uh, AI Tops Biggio Rookie. I yeah, love them. Love them, love them, love them. Okay. Montana. We got a Bagwell Rookie. Tim McCarper. Um, and it says Rookie Low Book is $15. So there you go. <laughs> that kind of shows the age of like of what these were, huh? Uh, when they were just pulled. Mickey Mantle scorecard. Um, that might be a decent card. That might be a decent pull. I just don't remember. Um, anyways, ooh, look at that top loader. Beautiful. <laughs> it is orange because it uh, it got so bad of uh, so bad of uh, age discoloration. Another one. There's for Biggio rookie, Piazza rookie. Smoltz rookie. Is that a? You know, I thought it was an update, but anyways. Nolan Ryan in package. It's probably an 89. Yes, yeah, an 89 Bowman version of that. Roger Clemens yellow. So is that green back? Yep. So these had two variations. They had the yellow back and they had the green back. The green back was the rare version, but when I say rare, I mean like the yellow backs, I think they made 150,000 sets. The green backs, they made like 50,000 sets or something. So, so not really a, not really a big deal, but anyways, man, this is fun. This is fun. That's a great looking Piazza. Love that. Chipper, uh, there's a Griffey, Thomas, there's Bo Jackson. Another Bo Jackson. Ooh, downtown. Yeah, like I love that card. I love that card tons. Yep. Okay, I think Enrique got these from me also. So you see these? These are some super rare Will Clark cards that are uh, like some unlicensed Broder style cards. There should be a green one, I think, too, or red or something. So hopefully that's in there in there no, somewhere too. And look at this. Oversized. Yep. Look at that. Wade Boggs, Mark McGuire, Cecil Fielder, Barry Bonds. Uh, and then you've got an oversized this uh, 90 tops also. Yeah. Ricky Henderson's beautiful. Nice Mickey Mantle franchise. But I mean, look, you see a billion and a half of the regular ones, but these are, you know, like cut from like a, a sheet or something of them. But wow, super cool. Let me see the 
Yeah, back of them same. It's just it's got more border all around. Very, very cool. Whoops. See, I'm missing my oh, there we go. the Bill Clinton card there. That's interesting. Frank Thomas is probably one of my favorite looking Frank Thomas card. I just I love that. Oh, yep, these are for me also. This is from a paper sheet. Um, and I don't think there's really any big cards here. Let's see, Stairs, Bell, Peyton, Greer. Uh, I feel like there's a Greer collector out there somewhere that's like a super collector, but you like this. But anyways, uh, Floyd, so like these are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. So the back says Fleur Skybox Triple Crown MLB First Round pr Front Proofs 10, 13, 2000. Foil colorized red for readability. So all this is supposed to be foil. And these are proofs, all proofs. Okay, Bo Jackson, heck yeah, look at all that. And look at that, you guys, we found the, the green Will Clark. And, okay, so this is a proof of the 96, I think it is Leaf Steel, uh, if I remember correctly, 95, 96 Leaf Steel. Uh, this is like a, some sort of like a plate thing that they use, uh, color separation, something or other. So, and this card is of Dennis Eckersley. So anyways, very cool, very cool. Um, let me put this on the front so it'll be closer to the other Clarks, but, um, and here's some more of those, uh, those sheets. Sammy Sosa, but look, there's a, a, you know, wrinkle straight through it, unfortunately, because these are paper, you know, but they're proofs. Delgado, Kendall, Tino Martinez, Hidalgo and Sigi. Um, I wish they're bigger names and you know nicer condition, but it's pretty darn good find there. I mean, that's pretty great. Okay, let's see. Going forward, eighty-one Flair, Ozzy Smith. There's Chip jo Chipper Jones rookies. A couple of Chipper Jones rookies. Uh, oh, look at that, Billy Ripken. Um, we will call it a Rick face. I'm going to actually pull that to the side just to uh, admire it some more later. But there's a Manny Ramirez rookie. The, and the Rick face, by the way, if y'all don't know, um, there's a very bad word um, on the bat knob that I would, I will not be saying um, out loud on screen or off screen. And uh, Beckett Magazine would call it, and they'd call it the Rick face. Uh, <laughs> variation which is pretty clever but um anyway so that's what it is to me it's the rick face the rick face uh, variation that's a nice find i like that um okay so let's see what else there's a couple craig biggio rookies there's another oversized there's some more oversized look at that look at that and we got some basketball I prefer to stay in baseball, but you know, um, that's a nice card. 68 tops, Rod Carew. That's a very nice card actually. Okay, very cool, very cool. Pistol Pete Maravich. Yeah, all right. Um, I mean, we can pretty much stop there and this is a successful, <laughs> a successful box, but we've got two other rows, so we will we'll continue. 87 Donruss opening day, Bo Jackson rookie, Ripken, there's a uh, Rain Johnson rookie, some Vizio rookies. That's a nice Griffey insert. Chipper, Ripken, Ripken. More Vizio rookies, Hideo Nomo, Refractor. Oh, there's the air. We just talked about that earlier, didn't we? Okay, man, all. Okay, A-Rod, rookie, Rian Rivera, rookie. There's a 1966 Topps Larry Durker. I think he actually announces the Astros games, if I remember correctly. So, you know, his Biggio rookies, there's some Bo Jacksons, uh, Chipper Jones rookie, Jim Wynn. Looks very, huh, looks like an overprint of some sort. Jeff Bagwell, that's cool. Roger Clemens, I don't remember. 
I don't remember the Roger Clemens A7 Donruss looking like that. It says PC14 underneath, so I wonder if it's like a box cut or something. Um, because, yeah, I don't remember the A7 Donner's Clemens looking like that. And the card stock on the back looks different, too. I'm not sure what to make of that. But, anyways, another busy rookie. Hey, and, y'all, I am... Yeah, it's a good rookie. There's some mantles. Um, I am A-OK -okay with a bunch of Biggio rookies. I love Biggio. I think he was a underrated player. I've heard a lot of people say that, like, you look at the stats of Derek Jeter and Craig Biggio minus postseason... Because uh, postseason where Jeter shined and not so much for, for Biggio. Um, they're very close. Very close. Anyways, that's a nice Griffey. And that's a rare Castilla. I think I have that. Uh, I think this, that's in this box only because I got this as one that was from, that had a Kinseiko in it. So I probably cut up the others and you know, put them here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. Um, anyways, so Lou Pinella. Steve Carlton. I mean, there's some Hall of Fame vintage stuff. You know, 84 Donners. Mike Schmidt. I love 84 Donners. Look at that. Look at that. You have Schmidt, Boggs, Gwynn, and Pete Rose. And to top it off, you got a Mark McGuire rookie. You got a Barry Bonds rookie. Chipper Jones minor league rookies. You got a 84 Donners uh, Ripken. Nolan Ryan. There's some Roses. And the Bird, Mark Fidrich. Couple 61 tops cards are beat up. Sheffield uh, rookies, Joe Morgan, Willie Stargell. Mm. Yep. Yes, sir. This is, uh, I'm loving this. And again, for y'all who are just tuning in, this is for my quest for a T206 Honest Wagner. Um, a flip quest, check it out at T206Wagner.com. Um, there's a Fernando Valenzuela rookie. Bobby Bonds, it's Barry Bonds' dad. Great player too, Gaylord Perry, Joe Morgan, and look at this. There's a Clemens set of those rare uh, proof style cards that we saw, like the Will Clark before. So that's a, you know, that's going to be a player collector's uh, dream there. So, and so another Biggio rookie, rookies, Ray Johnson, Chipper Jones rookies. There's a second year George Brett. Yes, sir. Kirk, uh, Kirk Gibson rookie, Harold Baines rookie, the new Clemente. There's an autograph of Sheldon Neuse. And then we have Aquino rookie, Mike Yastrzemski, um, Derek Jeter. Look at this. Okay. Oversized uh, Sammy Sosa rookie, and Juan Gonzalez rookie, and Ricky Henderson. I remember these. I remember these. There you go. Some more oversized. There's a lot of these Ripken memorable moments. 81 Fleur Brett. There's a Jeff Backwell Meyer League rookie. Lou Pinella rookie. Dave Parker, that's from that same magazine set that I had. Okay. Tim McCarver. Um, Griffey. That's a couple of beat up cards there. There's a lot of Bill Clinton cards in here <laughs> as well. There you go. Mijol, Mantle, and uh, Yastrzemski. There's a DiMaggio. Again, I think this might be, well, so it's got a $2 tag on the back, so maybe it's, it was never a big deal of a card. I thought they were more, more of a chase, chase card type. Okay, more oversized cards. Ozzie Smith and Tony Gwynn. More Bill Clinton. <laughs> there you go, guys. I'm done. We're done. I, I got the I got the the T206 Wagner. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, how funny! Let me pull this out real quick. <laughs> the flip quest is over, everybody. I got my T206 Wagner. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Let me see. Let me see if it has a, a reprint marking on the back. And for those of y'all watching, like, no, this is not a real one. There's no way in 11 billion years um, that this is a real one. But let's see. Uh, yeah, it says MLB 1407, I think, in the bottom right there. But uh, that is hilarious. Okay, there you go, guys. I guess I didn't really say 
uh, that I was going for an original T206 on Swagner, right? So there you go. There's my T206 Swagner. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That is funny. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of that and have some fun with it. But you know, it's a couple of Griffey rookies. Oh man, uh, I'm having a blast, you guys. Like again, thank you all for following along here. This is this is fun stuff. Um, yeah, we could have finished watching the entire movie by the time I'm done with this, but you know, what's the fun in that, right? We have baseball cards to attend to. Another visit fractor. Okay, so we got some graded cards here. Now take a look at this. Now this is like an over, an underrated uh, set here. Let me show you what we have here. So this is 1975 SSPC. Um, it's not tops, you know. It's a but it is a legit set and uh, real nice condition. It's Reggie Jackson and beautiful. We have Reggie Jackson. These are actually very, um, like I said, they're underrated. They're undervalued. Um, we've got Johnny Bench. We have Ted Williams. That's 76, I think. Uh, 78. 79, Ernie Banks. 75, uh, Mike Schmidt. 78, Harmon Killebrew. Um, these are not massive cards, you guys. Like they're they're not they're they're decent. Um, they should be worth a lot more than they are, uh, especially the seventy fives are the playing career uh, guys. Are they're you know younger? But uh, Brooks Robinson, Willie Mays, remember the Mets? Jackie Robinson at seventy nine TCMA. Pete Rose seventy five SSPC. Now SSPC. Uh, is what I'm speaking about specifically. And by the way, this says first graded, which is interesting. So that's kind of cool. Roberto Clemente. Um, and I think he passed away in 79. Yeah, that was in my podcast recently also. I don't recall. But anyways, Tom Seaver, Sandy Koufax, Nolan Ryan, 1975 SSPC. It's an early Nolan Ryan. Beautiful condition. Fabulous picture. Um, I mean, the art, the uh, photography, in my opinion, really kind of blows away a lot of the top stuff. Um, and then we have Fred Dreyer. Who's that? Uh, I think they the show in the '80s called Hunter. I think he was the main character. Uh, so, anyways, Fred Dreyer. That's interesting card to pop in the middle. But, anyways, uh, Ernie Banks, and then we have. Yeah, take a look at this. So this is why I would consider to be very undervalued. Uh, 1975 SSPC rookie, because it's a rookie, of Rob Meowt. Same with this. 75 SSPC rookie of Dennis Eckersley. Um, I think this is like, I think this goes for 20 bucks. I think it should go for way more. Um, you know, just uh, they're great cards. Anyways, so here's a 69 tops. Uh, that's cool. PSA 8, uh, 69 tops of Spider Lockhart. And uh, I think that'd probably go for more now, but it says 20 bucks on the back of that. But anyway, 72 tops of Roger Wizardy. I don't know. Killer sideburns there, though. Um, PSA 8. Oh, here's another TCMA. Um, Mickey Mantle. This is just on the, the sleeve. Um, and then Hank Aaron. So that's a, that's. A very pleasant surprise. Like I'm pleasantly surprised uh, by this box so far. Like there's a lot of goodies, like a lot of stuff to be happy with and fun and, and excited about. So I mean, you know, and we're not talking like thousand dollar cards or anything. No, no, no. We're just having fun and we're finding some cool cards, some cool rookies of stars, Hall of Famers, um, just some neat stuff here. So and speaking of neat stuff. 59 Fleer. Uh, Fleer made a set of Ted Williams. And by the way, y'all, check out Ted Williams. Learn about this man. Um, he was amazing. He, I think he has over 500 home runs, if I remember correctly. Um, one, of the, one of, if not the best hitter um, in baseball history. And he missed parts of like five years because of service, uh, military service. So anyways, 
Um, and oh, there you go. There's a, a Cal Ripken rookie, 82 dollars. Um, I was just reading about that in my book, in my book that I'm reading online for YouTube at youtube.com slash Tama Baseball Fan. A few weeks ago, I read about it where uh, somebody actually did a uh, uh, scammed me out of my $2 set. But anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty nice. Ryan and Seaver, they were teammates, you know, a few years before that. There's a John Stockton rookie. Tony Gwynn rookie. He's a nice little Jeter. Um, Jeter, uh, second year Mattingly, Garcia Parra. Okay, so this is 20 bucks, so I don't know if this is like a specifically rare, hard to find, you know, insert or whatever, but uh, that's a nice insert of Jeter. Jeter, Ripken, Ripken, Chipper, Ripken, there's Jeter. Looks like we're getting into some football stuff. Which, you know, I'm sure the football stuff's cool, but like, I'm like, man, I want to stick in the baseball. I'm having too much fun with it. Um, some Barry Sanders. There's a, what was that again, guys? Like 68 tops, I think. Uh, we have a PSA 8 back uh, there. That is George Blanda. Um, Jeff Theismann. Jack Ham, Art Shell. So I know some more of these guys, John Riggins. Like, I know some of these guys here that are they're coming up. Like, I feel like they've got, Prices on the back there too. Johnny Unitas. Um, hmm. Interesting. Oh well, yeah. Well, it says fifteen dollars. Let me look this up real quick. I'm just curious. Okay, yeah, fifteen twenty dollars is fair. Um, fair valuation for that card in this condition looks like. So. All right. Let's see what else there is. Well, Zato, George Blanda, there's Brett Favre. I think that's a rookie of his. Okay. Montana, Pastorini, Bob Greasy. Larry Zonka, Terry Bradshaw. Okay, so that's a cool, is that a buyback? So this is neat. Like, I think baseball should have done this. Like, I don't think they have. Like, they did the little, little buyback back stamp in like a refractor, like holographic foil kind of thing. I think that's pretty cool. So anyways, OJ Simpson. Look at that. Look at that. Steve Young, I think that's his rookie, if I remember correctly. Um, George Blanda. These guys, like these guys have like, I, I'm feeling something on the back of them. $4, $12, $8. I don't know if that's accurate. It looks like a few of them that would have been like this uh, is pretty accurate. Lester Hayes, $4, $4. There's an OJ Simpson again. That's a cool card. Terry Bradshaw. This is $25 on the back of it. This says $12 on the back of the OJ Simpson. Franco Harris. Mm, $8? I can't really read that. Anyways, uh, Bob Greasy, it says 15. So looks, I mean, you know, couldn't be happier with, those, with that run there. That's nice. It's very nice. There's OJ Simpson again. Larry Zonka, Walter Payton. It says $12 on the back of that. Terry Bradshaw. Huh? Okay, well, there's some racing cards. Price $12 is on the back of that. Rusty Wallace, Davey Allison, don't know who that is. Rookie of the year. Who's the rookie of the year? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's Walter Payton, Ronnie Lott. You got a funny story. There's a Brett Favre. There's a funny story I have about Enrique. Um, I'll stop to say right now, which is, which is pretty funny. We're at a card show. I think Enrique was was setting up there and uh, if I remember correctly and he's like, Hey Tanner, look. And you know, uh, Enrique has his, has his son there too. He's like, Hey, look. And I think it was, I don't remember who it was. Like it was either Marcus Allen 
for Jerry Rice. I'm terrible with football, so I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, so we flag him down. We're talking. And it's like, hey, can you get a picture? And he's like, oh, no, guys. I just want to enjoy the show. I just want to look around and stuff. I'm like, okay, I understand. He's like, you know what? I'll do it for the kid, though. I'll tell you what. Oh, and hey, you're his dad. So he points to Enrique. You're his dad. I'll tell you what. I'll take a picture with you guys. And he's like, here. And he gives me a camera to take a picture of them and then walks off. <laughs> I didn't get a picture of him. <laughs> and that's okay. I, I don't mind. I thought it was a funny story though. But uh, anyway, so Enrique, I hope you enjoy that picture of, uh, of you and your son and uh, you know whoever it was, Mark Stalin or, or Jerry Rice. <laughs> Anyways, there's Bo Jackson. I really love that card. I think it's so cool. Uh, McNair, Young, Gary Sheffield. Home stretch, you guys. We're almost done here. All right. Let's see. Okay. 59 Fleer, Ted Williams, Steve Young, I think that's a rookie. Um, yeah, I got Kobe. I don't, I, I know he used to at least, you know, have good value in cards. I'm not really sure what those would be now. There's some Shaq. Feeling some stickers on the back of that. Just a couple bucks, I guess. Shaq, Grant Hiller's Beam Team, Garnett, Duckworth, uh, Electric Court. 75 tops, Dusty Baker. All right. <clears throat> okay. Shaq. Who is that? Tim Duncan? Oh, Dr. J. Dr. J. Bill Walton, Pistol Pete, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, that's a nice little run there. Moses Malone, Abdul-Jabbar, Maravich again, Maravich. This is 10 bucks on the back, I guess. It's four, eight bucks. Lou Alcindor, okay. Lou Alcindor, I think he's the one that turned to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, so. Yeah, some 90 stuff. There's Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, it's his rookie. Um, Bill Walton. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Probably got about two or three handfuls left. I'm trying to contort myself around so I don't knock the camera over and or the phone off the deal and make sure that I'm not losing my place either. Okay. More George Gervin, Rick Barry, Moses Malone. It looks like Michael Jordan. There's another Jordan. That's a nice one. Jordan, 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 Jordan. Okay. Jordan, 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 Jordan. There's a lot of Michael Jordan there. There's a nice Kobe there. Another Jordan. Several Jordans. Well, wow, that's a that's a great way to end up. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll try to end up in this one last one here. Okay, so we have Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. There's a lot of Michael Jordan at the end here, you guys. That works for me. Okay, there's George Gervin, Garnett. I was wanting to stay in Jordans, but oh well, that's okay. Whoa. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Haven't seen that one. Steve Nash, Shaq, some Shaq rookies. There's another Jordan. More Shaqs. Magic Johnson. Jordan, 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 Jordan. That is another one of those Jordans. View to a thrill, Michael Jordan. So it's on the back. It says 20 bucks on the back of it. And this Jordan says 15 on the back of it. Um, then OJ Simpson. And then the last card, Nolan Ryan, 2003 Tops Tribute. That's beautiful. Cool. Well, you guys, like, I am very happy with this. I'm going to, I'm going to take this off the, um, off the stand here and let's, uh, let's kind of do another, 
another fly over here. I mean, that was just a, that was a cool, cool collection to go through. So, uh, Enrique, thank you. Um, that was fun. That was fun. I had a blast going through that. Um, there, so we're going through this, we went through this entire box here and there's a, a few big ones, you know, the Darvish, you got the mantle there and, um, the PSA seven 39 play ball card, the, the 10, uh, bonds, got this Barry Sanders. And then you got the, uh, these are just some that I wanted to look up. I don't think they're really anything. Um, but they kind of were fun to, for me to pull out, pull aside anyways, and a couple of Jordans there. So, and we had, you know, we had like almost no Jordans to begin with. And then we ended up with like a boatload of Michael Jordans. Um, and so we will look at, um, I think there was another pile of good cards somewhere here. Well, oh, that's right. I think we had a couple of these guys here. So this Jordan's a big deal. The Stremski is a, a really good card. Um, and then we've got the sets. We've got the 2012 Gypsy Queen with the short prints. We've got the 78 Topps baseball set, the 80 Topps baseball set, a four Fleer set, um, a lot of things here. So you guys, just one more time, all this stuff is part of my flip quest for a T206 Wagner. Um, you can look at my progress at T206Wagner.com. And all of this stuff here is available. It is for sale um, or trade or sale and trade in part or in whole. So feel free to uh, make an offer, uh, whether it be cash cards, cash and cards, whatever it is. Uh, I would love to hear. I am just enjoying the heck out of this uh uh, out of this whole thing. So just having a great time with it. So anyways, look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you for sticking with me for like over an hour and a half now. I uh, hope you all have a great day and look forward to hearing from you.